just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I don't usually talk about celebrities. I don't usually post on Tuesdays, um, but after watching the royal interview with Oprah, I did feel a need to uh, post about this. So yes, I watched the royal interview with Prince Harry and Meghan uh, with Oprah. I actually watched it last night. I was late, <laughs> like some people, but there was something that they mentioned that I thought really, really, you know, wanted to address. Megan and Harry brought up the fact that somebody um, had concerns over Archie's skin color, what his skin color would look like. Archie is Megan and Harry's firstborn, okay? Apparently, this was said to Harry while Megan was still pregnant. So that's, that's the one thing. Uh, the other thing is that they had decided to remove things from Archie, such as he would not have a title um, and he would not have security. So I wanted to talk about this for a minute because I have noticed there are a lot of oohs and ahs and oh my gosh, like on social media about this. I honestly am not surprised by anything that Megan or Harry said. The reason being is that, you know, oftentimes when we talk about like racism, we talk about racism in reference to America. But racism is everywhere. There is no country on this earth that is immune to racism. So to see that so many people were shocked and I can't believe the royal family and it, that was kind of surprising to me in itself. If you go and watch The Crown um, and then fact check after every episode, that's something that me and my husband do. The things that are shocking and you think they may not be true actually are true. Uh, the royal family has a history of, of racism, of classism, of discrimination. And so I wouldn't put that past them. Now, that being said, one thing I do want to get across is that the fact that somebody went to Harry while his wife was pregnant and said they were concerned about what the skin color of their child would look like is appalling. Okay. Their son wasn't even born yet, and he was already being demonized. Wasn't even here yet. The thing I want you to think about is the fact that Megan herself is biracial. So Megan's dad is white, and Megan does have light skin. And even her, even with her being biracial and her having light skin, they were still concerned of what Archie's skin color would look like. And this is something that I, I gotta tell people just to keep it real. Listen, when you are black, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Dark skin, light skin, whatever. People still see you as black. And this is why when people make the argument, well, why aren't we calling, you know, Obama, you know, biracial, he's not black, he's biracial. People still see him as black. And that is just something, one thing I do really want to get across. Um, they were taking away Archie's title. They were going to take away security from him. Archie wasn't even born yet. And they were already starting to take things away from him. What does that tell you? Could you imagine what would have happened to Archie if they would have stayed? If they were already treating him this way before he was born, how do you think they would have treated him after he was born? There's a lot of arguments that like kids don't see color. That's not true. Having worked with kids of all different ages, I can tell you that is not true. Kids do see color. 
kids do know that they are one complexion and their friend may be a different complexion. So that is not true. Now, are kids, you know, are they born like racist? No, they are taught that. But a child knows when they are not the same color as someone else. They can tell that there is a difference. And to imagine that if they would have stayed there and Archie growing up there, you don't think that Archie would have seen that he was being treated differently than Kate and William's kids? Because he would have. Kids can tell that too. Kids can tell early on when they are being treated differently because of the color of their skin. So yeah, nothing they said was surprising to me. Um, I don't know why it's surprising to a lot of people, but it was not for those of us who are black that it just this just isn't new. This is not a new thing. I will say as someone who is in an interracial marriage, most of you guys know my husband is white. Um, I identify with like what they were saying. I get it. Now, granted, we don't have kids, so nobody has come to me and said anything like that. Uh, but if they did, I would be highly, highly offended. Um, I could not imagine Megan staying there after that. They're basically letting her know up front, look, yeah, you married in, but you know, we're going to treat you different. We're going to treat your kid differently. They didn't say who the person was that said that. I guess they're trying to protect that person, but I'm pretty sure if the Royal family saw this interview, I'm pretty sure they are not happy with what they saw. I think they're probably frustrated that they've been outed. Um, but again, you, you, you have to ask yourself, what is the point of the royal family? It's classism. There's also sexism. And yes, there's also racism. That's all a part of, that's all a part of the institution. And to sit here and to pretend like it's not, you're just kidding yourself. They're not different. We shouldn't put them up on this. Oh, but they would never do that because of their title. In fact, their title may have made it worse. Harry himself said that he hadn't been exposed to a lot of these things until he met Megan, until he started dating Megan. This is another reason why I always say representation is important. Oftentimes you don't know what people are going through who look differently than you if you haven't been exposed to it. A lot of people, and I've had friends tell me this when I was in college, some people didn't even know that their parents didn't really care for black people until they brought a black person home. So you need that representation. Representation is, is very much important. But the thing about the interview that I wanna stress is that colorism is real, um, classism is real, and if, if you think that because it's 2021 that these things have changed, yes, some things have improved, but we're still not where we need to be as a society when it comes to those issues. I do feel bad for Megan and, and Harry. Anybody who goes through something like that, that it's, that's crazy. It's just ridiculous. To know that your own family is just basically telling you, we don't really, we're not going to really treat your son the way he should be treated. And we're concerned about his skin color. It's absolutely appalling. And it's absolutely not acceptable. Mm -hmm.